Hey, welcome back to Living MN Outdoors. I'm Daniel, and thanks for tuning in to this week's fishing report. On today's report, we're going to cover Mille Lacs Lake, Leech Lake, and Lake Winnebagoshish. But before we dive into the report, just a couple of things. If you use any of the guides or resorts mentioned in today's report, please let them know that you saw them on Living MN Outdoors. And with that being said, let's dive into today's report. Today we're going to start up on Leech Lake. The walleye bite up there has been very strong lately. The best places to look for those walleyes is in 10 to 14 feet of water on tapering flats near shoreline rocks. Now, as far as how to catch them, uh, the beginning stages of the mayfly hatch have started, so pulling night crawlers on spinners or a slip bobber in leech, or even tipping a jig with half of a night crawler has been producing some really nice fish. Now on top of that, the crankbait bite is going to be picking up here soon, so don't be afraid to tie on a crankbait and do some trolling. Now as far as the panfish up on Leech Lake, uh, the bluegills, you can still find those up in shallow, in the reeds, or in some new cabbage growth but the crappies, they're done spawning. They've started to pull back out and you can find those on the first break just outside of their spawning grounds. Now, as far as how to catch those bluegills and crappies, uh, the crappies, a small jig with a minnow or a jig in a plastic is your best bet for catching those crappies. For the bluegills, a slip bobber with a chunk of night crawler, a small leech, uh, or anything along those lines is going to produce some really nice bluegills. Now I didn't really get any information as far as the bass or musky bite goes, but I have been seeing some pictures of some really nice smallmouth and even a few muskies starting to show up on Facebook. Now if you're looking for a guide up on Leech Lake, we highly recommend the guys from Leech Lake Guide Team. They have a ton of guides, which means they have lots of availability. So if you're looking for a last minute trip or to book a trip for future open water season, go ahead, check out the guys at Leech Lake Guide Team LLC and book yourself a trip. Now, if you're looking for a place to stay up on Leech Lake, we highly recommend Horseshoe Bay Lodge. They got cabins, condos, hotel rooms, a full bar and restaurant, a beautiful marina, whether you're staying at the resort or not, you can pull up into the marina, walk up to Iron Fire Bar and Grill, grab yourself some delicious food and a drink, and have a blast up on Leech Lake. Now, Horseshoe Bay Lodge, they have cabins available from today until Sunday, and also June 25th to July 2nd. Now, Cam told me, if you guys mention you saw it on Living MN Outdoors, there is gonna be a special cabin rate for those select dates. So, if you're looking for a place to stay, go ahead, call Cam, book those cabins, and make sure you mention Living MN Outdoors. All right, now let's move over to Mille Lacs Lake. I talked to Jeff today. He told me that the walleye, smallmouth, pike, and muskies, they're all biting right now. As far as where to find the walleyes, he said, <clears throat> starting out about 5, 6 p.m., they're fishing in 22 to 24 feet of water. They're using slip bobbers and leeches or pulling spinners. Now, he said, as the evening goes on, as the sun hits the tops of the trees, they're moving up in to that 12 to 15 feet of water or even shallower. He said they've been catching walleyes up as shallow as eight feet of water right at sunset. And he said slip bobber and a leech up in shallow is really producing a ton of fish right now. Now, as far as the smallmouth bass go, uh, they're still finding those up in plenty shallow, 14 feet of water or less. They are catching some out a little bit deeper, but the majority of them fish are still up in pretty shallow. He said, look for those secluded boulders, those big chunky rocks, a Ned rig, a drop shot. Uh, they're still throwing some hair jigs here and there, uh, but the Ned rig and drop shot is the way to go as of right now. 
Now, as far as the perch go, he said in Isle Bay, they're catching perch right on the weed lines. Uh, he said they've even run into some really good schools of big perch out there and people have been putting some limits in their boats. Now, as far as the pike go, in the bay, they've been trolling big spoons, big spinner baits, uh, in anywhere from eight to 12 feet of water. Just find a weed line, troll along there, and you're gonna boat a ton of northern pike. Now, the muskies. Uh, the musky bite has been really strong so far. Uh, the best method as of right now is big crankbaits for those big muskies. They've been boating a lot of 50 inch plus fish in Isle Bay. So if you're looking for one of those Mille Lacs like giants, definitely try Isle Bay. Now, if you're looking to get out on Mille Lacs Lake, you don't have your own boat or you just don't want to tow it up there, uh, Castles Resort, they run a launch every weekend and through the week. Uh, check out their Facebook page. They have a schedule of when the launch goes out. You do need to make a reservation for that. So go ahead and call Castles Resort or book online. Now, if you're looking for a guide, Castles Resort, they have guides there or they can hook you up with other guides on the lake. So go ahead, check them out, give them a call and they will put you with a really good guide. Now, if you're looking for a place to stay up on Mille Lacs Lake, Castles Resort has some really nice cabins. Go ahead, check them out and book yourself a stay on Mille Lacs Lake. Okay, now moving over to Lake Winnie. The walleye bite has been really, really good out there right now. Uh, they're finding the walleyes in 12 to 14 feet of water on weed lines. Uh, I talked to Chad, he said those weeds are really key to finding those big schools of walleyes right now. So if you can find a weed line in 12 to 14 feet of water, you're gonna catch some fish out there. Now, as far as how to catch them, it sounds like a leech is king right now. Whether it's a leech on a jig, a leech under a bobber, a leech on a spinner, he said you need to make sure you have some leeches when you come up there. Now the perch bite, the perch bite has been a little bit tougher as of late, but they are getting some nice perch mixed in with the walleyes. And he told me that the northern pike have been on fire up there. He said they're mixed in with the walleyes, they're up in shallow, they're out deep. He said you really can't do anything wrong if you're trying to target northern pike. He said tie on some spoons, big spinner baits, anything like that, and you're gonna put a ton of pike in your live well. Now, he told me that the crappies are starting to show up. He said on deep weed lines, 10 to 12 feet of water, a jig in a minnow or a jig in a plastic is producing some really nice crappies out there. He also said that the bluegills have started to show up. He said they're up in the pencil reeds or just on the outside edge of those reeds. He said a slip bobber with a chunk of night crawler or a small leech is going to help you boat a ton of them nice bluegills. Now as far as the bass goes, he said the bass are up in shallow, they're on the shoreline weeds or in the reeds. He said you can cast spinner baits, top waters, pretty much anything you want to throw at them and you're going to catch some nice bass out on Lake Winnie. Now, if you're looking for a guide out on Lake Winnie, we highly recommend Scott Zupfer from Zupp's Guide Service, one of the premier walleye guides out on Lake Winnie. Not only will he put you on the walleyes, but he'll explain why and how to catch those walleyes at the different points in the season. Now, Scott also offers twilight trips. If you wanna get out for that sunset bite from 5 p.m. to dark, Scott is running his twilight trips my favorite time of the evening to go walleye fishing 5 p.m to dark he'll take you out do a bunch of walleye fishing you'll get to watch the sunset come back in and have yourself a fish dinner that you won't forget now if you're looking for a place to stay up on lake winnie we highly recommend the pines resort they have tons of cabins there they have campsites full bar and restaurant they have an awesome marina live bait on hand gas right at the docks for your boat. Uh, so if you're looking for a place to stay, definitely give Chad a call and book one of those cabins as soon as you can. 
Now you can also call the Pines Resort. They can set you up with a guide. Uh, Chad is running some guide trips himself as well. Uh, so go ahead, give the Pines Resort a call and book yourself a stay up on Lake Winnie. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this week's fishing report. Really appreciate you tuning in. If you guys would, hit the like button, drop a comment below, consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be notified every time we upload a new fishing report. But remember guys, when you get out fishing, be respectful of other fishermen. Don't crowd your neighbor, have a blast. Send us in some pictures if you wanna be featured on next week's fishing report. And most importantly, don't forget to get on out there and get living.